Hello, please don't take this video as a bashing or this video as me talking down on people. I don't do those things. I'm not in that type of business, you know. I just not that type of person too, but I'm a person that like to speak truth from now on, man. I just feel like the best way to heal people is to tell them the truth, you know. Yeah, they might not like it at the moment, but later on, they will start feeling like, man, this, this motherfucker kept real with me. You know, like this person didn't really hide nothing from me. You know, he said everything I needed to hear and to help me get on with my life. You know, with that being said, I just got to say, man, like a lot of us, we're not healthy, man. You know, including me too. You know, I'm not finna just tell you guys, you know, yeah, I'm not fat, you know, but I don't feel like. I'm where I need to be, like, you know, with, with my, in shape. I don't feel like I'm, I'm in shape a hundred percent, you know, so I'm gonna start on me, you know, but then I'm gonna get on ya, you know, a lot of you guys, you know, black, white, you know, Mexicans, you know, whatever, you know, a lot of you guys can't really, you know, run for like two miles, you know, literally, you know, not, not, it's not because like, um, it's hard to run two miles. No, it's because y'all out of shape like a motherfucker, you know. Everybody in America, most people in America, like I said, I might say like 50% of Americans are out of shape, you know. Their heart cannot handle running for like two miles, you know. And um, I ain't gonna lie, that's like really killing yourself early, you know. I was actually looking up like the number one... Uh, the number one cause of death in America is heart heart pressure, you know, like heart, like blood pressure, whatever, you know, heart disease, you know. So that's the number one cause of death in America, you know. And, the, you know, like the second is cancer, yeah, but like the number one is heart disease. And, yeah, cancer, is, a lot of it, you can't control it, you know, even though a lot of people want to tell you, yeah, you can control it by what you eat. Yeah, but at the same time, you know, I want to say I want to talk about heart disease and how we can also prevent them, you know. And it ain't, it ain't just about heart disease. It's also about like living in a better culture. A lot of people they're not happy with how they look, so they go around just bashing people, bashing people's uh situations, you know, bashing people you know, uh, you know, like, uh, life, you know, be, be just bashing people, you know, like all around, you know, that's because they're not really even happy with the body that they have, you know, themselves, you know? So with that being said, like, I want you guys to at least get up in the morning, you know, before you even try to like go work for uncle Sam, go work for whatever your, your company, you know, Go work for whoever, you know, make sure that you work for you first, you know, and one thing you can, the the thing you can give yourself that the world won't take from you is your health, you know. Yeah, that's the one one of the best things you can give yourself that the world won't take from you is, is, is increase your health, you know. That will increase your years of living. That will increase your, that will, that will just make you look better too, you know. And that will also make you, like, forget about trying to, like, use substances or stuff like that you know to feel better because you're gonna already be feeling better you know so um yeah so invest at least at least an hour man of movement to your to your to your to your uh schedule you know invest that for yourself you know you owe yourself that you owe yourself like a little bit of time to to uh to make yourself feel good you know and to make yourself yeah it hurt to work out you know but after working out, it feels good, you know, like, y'all yeah, know, y'all yeah, know how, how it feels working out, like, doing them push-ups, y'all yeah, know how it feels doing them pull-ups, it be feeling like, it be hard as hell sometimes, you know, and you be sweating, you know, like, not just that, you be gritting, like, <clears throat> you know, but at the same time, man, when you, when you done, man, you feel, man, you feel very good, you know, afterward, you feel very good, you know, if you don't want to do that, do dance, you know, put some music on, start dancing, you know, like, literally, you know, dance for one hour, you know, make sure that you sweat, you know, you take the toxins out, you know, of your body, you know, because every day our bodies release toxins, and if we don't sweat, sweat them out, they stay in our bodies, you know, not just that, 
you know, a lot of time we, we also like uh, when we eat food, we store fat, you know, and we store fat in order that if we uh, if we go hungry, the, our body can use that fat. But in America, there's plenty of food, so people barely go hungry. So that fat gets stored on top of other fat and on top of other fat. So um, I'm just saying you got one, going, but when you work out, you, you release that fat, you take it out, you know, so you, first of all, you look skinnier or, or just, I don't, I don't advocate looking skinny. I just advocate looking healthy, you know, like too skinny is not healthy, you know, and too fat is not healthy, you know, so I don't advocate, you know, like none of those extremes, but at the, at the same time, if you look fit, then you're good, you know, like fit is, is the right word, not skinny or fat, you know, because that's not something that you, that you really want, you know, to be honest with y'all. So, um, when you fin when you work out like that, you know, when, if you, if you like basketball, man, if you used to be an athlete in school, man, go back, play basketball for one hour every day. Even if you still work, man, try to take that one hour, man, out of your 24 hours to, to, to work out, man, you know, take that one hour from like your TV, take that one hour from watching me on the internet, watching people on the internet and make sure that you sit there, man, and, and actually enjoy your, uh, your, your life, you know, by, by working out and preserving your body because self-preservation is, is, a, is a thing, man, you know, and you have to preserve yourself, you know, and it's not just guns that kill people, you know, so just cause you're not in the streets and you don't die by a gun, that don't mean that you do not, you're not in danger of dying by a uh, heart disease, you know, or like, uh, stuff like that, you know? So, um, Make sure you do that. And if you feel like you have some some uh, mental issues that are stopping you from doing that, make sure you go see a therapist that deal with that, that type of shit, you know, and you can talk to them and they can help you to see how they can like uh, set up a plan for you so you for, so you can start, you know, working out so you can start, you know, like actually accepting, you know, the help that you need, you know. So um, all I'm saying is, man, you know, like take care of your body you know, men, women, you know, uh, children, you know, uh, Christians, Muslims, white people, black people, you know, Chinese, you know, uh, I mean, Asians, you know, and, uh, Arabs, all oh, y'all, man, just take care of your body, man. Make sure that, you know, you, um, uh, you know, make sure that you, that you, that you feel good, you look good and you, uh, you know, act right, you know, because if you don't act right, even if you feel good and you look good, you might lose your life. So make sure that uh, you, you you do all those things, man. You know, so uh, subscribe to my channel if you want, man. Don't subscribe if you don't want to. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. I got one last thought, though, I want to tell you, man. You know, do not believe everything you guys see on the Internet, you know. So people will, feel out here, will be out here telling you, oh, it's okay. I'm happy. I'm fat and I'm happy, you know. No, no, nobody is like super, super fat and they're just like happy about it. You know, like, you know, nobody is like 500 pound, man. You know, like stomach hanging, you know, got, got a fupa, got, got the back hanging, stomach hanging, like, you, like, you know, like just, you know, got the neck like a cow, you know, like, come on, man, you, nobody is like that and is happy, you know. So you, a lot of people ain't even happy with just a, a, a simple beer belly, you know. So if, if people sitting out here and lying to you on the internet with the fat positivity movement, do not believe none of that, you know. Nobody is 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 nobody is always happy not having money or being fat or like just being single for their whole life, you know. Like it's a, it's a lot of shit people are pushing out here that. People are happy being single their whole life. People are happy being fat. People are happy not having money. You know, like, man, come on, man. A lot of people feel bad about it, you know. So I'm telling you, I've been fat before and I lost, I lost my weight. And I'm telling you, I wasn't happy when I was fat because, first of all, I was fucking heavy. Heavy to move, man. You know, it was hard for me to move, you know. Yeah, it was hard for me to breathe, too. So, no, you know, I'm just telling you guys, man, you know, um... My chicks was fat, you know, so subscribe, man. Peace. I ain't going to make it too long, man. See y'all next time, man. Tell me what y'all think.